on everything. Best for the animals, best for the planet, best for your own body. All oh, the animals would be so happy. Meat is with pussy, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not afraid of them, I just don't. They take my food. Idiots. Look, vegans are very judgmental. If you are not a vegan, you are wrong. You are you are an abusive person. You support the abuse and torture of animals. Like, so what else do you do then? What do you think about sex I've had studies where plants respond. Well, you know, I'm actually a cognitive scientist, and I'm quite confident that plants do not have nervous tissue. You disagree with that? You think plants have nervous tissue? <laughs> It's Crystal Goddess 22, and today we're gonna bring to you a really healthy green morning smoothie. Yeah, this is really easy when you're on the go. We definitely want to use all natural uh, oh, whole milk. No. It comes from cows. It comes from cows, and the really cool thing about it is like they take their child away from the mother cow like two seconds after it's born because yeah. like who needs a mother? Who needs a mother? Also, the good thing is cow's milk is meant to feed cows so they can yeah. be 2,000 pounds. Yeah, and also cows are physically abused all over the nation, so you know you're getting a great product when you choose whole milk. Oh my god, it's great. I don't eat no meat, no dairy, no sweets, only ripe vegetables, fresh fruit and whole wheat. I'm from the old school, my household smell like... Still Snoop Dogg and D.I. D.I. Guess who's back? Steve. All we're doing is we refuse to sell out. We're gonna stay who we are, honest, upfront, objective people, transparent. <laughs> Curry falafel, barbecue tofu, no fish though, no candy bars, no cigarettes, only ganja, fresh squeezed juice from oranges, exercise in deli. For those of you that aren't familiar with ALS, it stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It's also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, and people like Stephen Hawking have it. It causes paralysis and kills most people who have it within just a few years. Now for what could be the missing link in the ALS mystery, and that is BMAA. The story of ALS and BMAA begins on the island of Guam where they had an ALS rate 100 times higher than the rest of the world in 1960. In some villages, one in three deaths could be attributed to ALS. But see, ALS wasn't a historical issue in Guam, but in 1920, they got guns, and that allowed them to shoot a large amount of flying foxes, which spend their lifetime just nomming on these cycad nuts and bioaccumulating a thousand times as much. BMAA. And that means that if you eat one bat, it's the equivalent to eating 2,200 pounds of cycad nuts. It goes from 0.3 micrograms per gram of free-floating BMAA in the cyanobacteria to 37 micrograms in the cycad nuts, all the way to 3,556 micrograms in the flying foxes, and finally 627 micrograms per gram in the brain of Guam residents with ALS. And if you still don't believe BMAA caused their ALS, you can induce an ALS-like disease in monkeys by giving them BMAA in a lab which is horrible. Just looking at fish in random rivers in Florida, they had the same level of BMAA as those flying foxes. And this brings me to Lou Gehrig himself. Quote, Lou Gehrig would rather fish than eat. Lou has always been crazy about pickled eels. This is where the ice bucket people failed us, the ALS Association. They raised $220 million with the ice bucket challenge, but they really just 
failed to use those resources to educate people about seafood and BMAA. It's only mentioned once on the website in the last three years and you really have to dig for it. So I have to ask the ALS Association, do you know about this? Are you willfully not telling people about this? They do have a little bit of a motivation to keep ALS uncurable. They may be a nonprofit, but people like the CEO make $340,000 a year. Now, I don't wanna just say, hey, they're horrible people, because this is pretty new information and there is a chance they don't know about it. These findings are extremely important because it not only gives people with ALS some hope, but it gives them something that they can do right now. And more importantly, it gives doctors a treatment that when someone comes into the doctor's office with ALS, they can say, stop eating seafood and we'll see how you do. Drink water out the tap cause it's filthy. Lentil soup is mental fruit and ginger root is good for the use. Fresh vegetable with them high stew. Hey guys, Amy here. Welcome to my channel. So, um, just a quick little rant. I just barely saw the ad before a YouTube video called The Utter Truth. And it's like all these dairy farmers talking about all the myths about the dairy industry and how it's so misunderstood. It really ticks us off, to be honest. It does make me feel a little bit frustrated. Nothing could be further from the truth. People at their first experience with a milking machine might be like, oh my goodness, that looks like a machine and it might be quite painful because of the stainless steel outer shell. On the inside, it's really a rubber inflation and all it's doing is gently squeezing uh, that cow's udder and milking the cow out. We just love cows and so um, I think ultimately it's that love of cows that drives us to be successful and that's important to us because our income depends on the cow's milk production. It does make me feel a little bit frustrated and sometimes even disappointed when I see these tweets or people talking about how big farms equals bad farms. All the farms around here are family owned and operated. It's all family farmers. The cows actually like to get milked. I mean, they can't wait for their turn to go in and get milked. It's the most tested food product you can buy. Milk is so highly regulated. And I'm proud to say I love dairy cows. Dairy farming is a 365 day a year job. Hard work that starts hours before the sun rises and ends long after it sets. From the rest of us who benefit from all that hard work, we can only say... Oh my god, this is bullshit, you guys. Well, motherfucker, how about you just let cows be and actually give them their freedom instead of keeping them in these fucking concentration camps? And don't fucking act like you're doing those calves a favor by fucking separating them from their mothers and then killing them? Like... How the fuck does that make sense? Seriously, guys, I feel like I'm in the book 1984 sometimes where, you know, people will be spewing this bullshit and people like the masses will just be like, yeah, that makes sense. You know, you speak out for what's actually right instead of, you know, what's good for business and what's good for the economy and all that fucking bullshit. Like people are going to hate you. But seriously, these animals need your help. Dream hallelujah. Careful how you season and prepare your foods. Cause you don't wanna lose vitamins and minerals. And that's the jewel. Life brings life, it's valuable. So I eat what well, come from the ground, it's natural. My goal in life is not to be rich or wealthy Cause true wealth comes from good health and wise ways I'm a vegan I fought the low and the low one I fought the low and the low one I fought the low and the low one let your food be your medicine, uh -huh. no excedrin, uh -uh. strictly herbs and raised from the sun, cause I got melanin in Times be a changing. So it's Feedback Friday on Domino's Pizza website, and guess what the number one feedback is? They want Domino's to offer vegan cheese options. How good is that? Can anyone remember a time in history when veganism was this popular? No, you can't, because this is the most most popular time for veganism. 2015 is the most popular time, and it's only going to grow. I think in 50 years' time, ordering real cheese at a, at a pizza joint will be the same as ordering dog meat at a steakhouse. Uh, I don't see any dog meat here. That's the latest thing. I thought this was like a, a meat restaurant, yet I don't see any dog meat here. So I suggest going vegan if you don't want to look like a fool with your pants down on the ground. Like an antiquated Neanderthal holding a club in a museum.
or a plantation owner with black slaves. So if you want to look like you give even the slightest bit of shit about anything in this world, then I suggest you go vegan. What do you eat? What about me? What about protein? What about cheese? Can you eat fish? Do you eat this? Would you eat that? Are you a demon? I know how to be a perfect vegan. I'm gonna share with you guys. Listen up, kids, because I've got the steps on how to do so. Number one, <coughs> don't ever talk about veganism or even say the word vegan because if you do, you're shoving your opinions down people's throats. Number two, if someone asks about veganism, don't reply to that shit because if you do, you're forcing your opinions down people's throats. Number three, always, and I mean always, laugh at me jokes. For example, when someone who is such the comedic genius says, Bacon, laugh your cholesterol-free vegan ass off because that's fucking hilarious. And if you don't laugh at that, it just means that you have no sense of humor and you can't take a joke. But don't tell jokes about rotting animal flesh and bovine secretion consumers because that's just distasteful and shoving your opinions down people's throats. Anyway, where was I? Number four, any information that you learn about veganism must not be shared. I repeat, mustn't be shared because most of it is propaganda and cherry picking anyway because there is just too much science. Is there not? Number five. So just accept their offer of animal product and eat it because if you don't, you're not being the perfect vegan. Um, you're being very rude and judgmental if you decline their offering of animal products and uh, it's just kind of, you're forcing your opinions down people's throats. We can't have that now, can we? That's not what perfect vegans do. They call it rabbit food, just cause I don't call it rabbit food. She's a tiny little black pug, and her name is Nala, N-A-L-A. -A. See the thing is guys, we're getting a brand new little puppy like this. We're getting a brand new little puppy like this. Hey Fruit Bats, welcome to another episode. So let's help her make the connection. She is like a mother with a baby. Zuella loves Nala so much and she treats her so well, but then she'll go and eat other animals which are equally as smart, equally as beautiful, therefore supporting an industry that causes a pain and suffering to other beautiful animals who are no different from Nala. But then this is what we do to them. We exploit them, we abuse them, we slice these beautiful, intelligent animals up into small pieces and we call them food. Well, that's mine. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna eat? We've had hers. What are you gonna eat, yours. Nala? Go through the on. Welcome to another episode. So I just want to talk quickly about Zoe blocking me regarding the video I made about her the other day. It's had over 100,000 views in just over a day and it's had nearly 8,000 likes. But unfortunately not Zoe and she blocked me from her Instagram and from her Twitter. But when you went to her Instagram where she blocked me, there was like hundreds of comments from vegans encouraging her to go vegan and to watch my video. And Zoe actually went through and deleted every single comment, which I found extremely defensive behavior, especially because the video wasn't at all hateful. It seems this may have even gone as far as Zoe having a panic attack about my video. 14 hours ago is when I posted the videos, it's from the other day, and they put up the wax figure reveal 10 hours ago. And this is what happened in that vlog. Now sadly, Zoe has just had to leave because she's just had a massive panic attack. We've been outside, she was super, super upset and feels like she's like failed and stuff. So I found that interesting that that kind of happened around the same time and if it was a coincidence, it was a huge coincidence because I posted that video and then that basically happened at the same time. And am I trying to give Zoe a panic attack? No, of course I'm not. But sometimes that just needs to happen where we reach a point where it's so bad and we basically lose it before we can actually change. And Zoe, you have the potential to save so many lives. 
people's lives and animals' lives. Please realize the power you have in your hands to make huge positive change in this world. We just want to make you vegan. So who's number one this week? You're the best. My Raw Till 4 critique is pretty popular, along with my 80 to 10 critique. Um, all I talk about is is negative stuff, but also obviously pretty great because it means more people are watching my stuff and I'm making more money. Yay! Welcome to a natural vegan. Hey guys. So today I want to talk about protein, specifically protein and vegan diets, specifically, specifically, protein and vegan diets and vegan YouTubers. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems, potentially... 701, shots fired, shots fired! So who's number one this week? I want to get veganism out to the masses, by any means necessary. Vegetarianism is becoming more and more well known and socially acceptable. The media is beginning to portray vegetarianism as a healthy, compassionate lifestyle, but in reality it is neither healthy nor ethical. Vegetarianism won't help. Vegetarianism is for people who don't like the taste or texture of meat but still want to exploit animals. It is a flawed philosophy which supports the practices of grinding male chicks up alive, stealing cows from their mothers, mutilating bees, killing cows for their skin, ripping flesh off of sheep, and torturing animals for vanity. And even though vegetarians might be ignorant to these practices, they are still contributing to them. Good intentions mean nothing to the animals being tortured on a daily basis. Many people believe that vegetarianism is an important step for progressing towards veganism. But just remember that baby steps are for chicks and calves, not for humans who can easily go vegan overnight if they care enough to do so. And there comes a time when ignorance is no longer an excuse, so take action and make the change now. If you need help progressing to a vegan lifestyle, email me or add me on Skype. I can help you overcome any obstacles you're facing. And as always, if you don't care about the planet, you don't care about the animals, you don't care about your health, then what the fuck do you care about? I'm making more money. Yay! 701, shots fired! Shots fired! It does make me feel a little bit frustrated and sometimes even disappointed when I see these tweets or people talking about how big farms equals bad farms. We want to make you vegan. 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 We just want to make you vegan. vegan.